G'day and welcome to uh, this week's Friends of Banner Cigar Review. Like usual, I'm here carrying the team, but thank God Ayala is in Cuba, Ken is lost in Costa Rica, um, I believe he hasn't caught one fish. It's been a shambles, the entire thing. Rob Schilt will give you a full rundown uh, on the forum, free fall guy. He'll tell it as it is. Um, so I put it out there to you guys on the forum. If you'd like to come and join me for a review, and I've got two guys with me today, Kadik and Brendan. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming along. Hell. This is your first cigar review is here? Yep. Yep. Right. Yes. And I thought we'd uh, revisit a cigar that uh, Rob and I did when it first came out, when it was first released, um, just as we start. Now, it was a walk in. This is a cigar that we reviewed, uh, um, Rob and I, way back when it was just released. Box code on this is STA AGO 09, this Ramona Yones Celestialos Finos. I uh, like Roman alone. Yes, Roman alone, mm. exactly. We reviewed it, I think it was about a month old. It knocked us on our ass, it was full of nicotine, it was full of power, and we said you need to lie these bad boys down for a while. So, it's uh, been a good three years, so we're gonna review it again and see how it goes. Um, what are you getting on the on the smell, guys? Leather? Yeah, it touches the leather, there's that, that hint of that black coffee there. There's a bit of cinnamon. It's a beautiful, I think it's uh, a reasonably good wrapper on them. Um, mm. The cherry. Is that yeah, cherry? Sweetness of floral. Yeah, it's yeah. Like daffodils, I don't know. Yeah, cherry there or something. When Woz is here on the deck with a review, we always know we're going to get some interesting sort of flavours <laughs> coming out of this somewhere along the line. Yes. <laughs> Days is roast, roast lamb. The roast lamb is still up there as one of the best. <laughs> so how do you see the opening, Wazza? A little bit toasty. Yeah. Someone here before said a uh, touch of orange, and I could, I could after you said that, I, I could actually taste that, a little bit of zestiness to it, yeah. How are um, you seeing the, uh, you know, the weight of it? Where it was pretty full when we uh, tried it a couple of years ago. Yeah, at this stage not uh, knocking me down, but... No. It's just the opening. It's yeah. just the opening, exactly. Couple of, first yeah. couple of millimetres, got it? Uh, first couple of millimetres, yep. Definitely get that hit of nicotine. Yeah, you said that straight away. On the back part straight away. Getting mm. some toasted, roasted coffee espresso right on the, on the back end of the palate as, as you let it sit a little bit. Get a little bit of that, that Pithiness, but with a zestiness, and I get some sort of fruit on the mm. exhale, but not, can't quite pick it. That is some a bit of fruit there. I describe it as kind of a pear, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, pear, apple, maybe um, yeah, that sort of uh, orange peel. Uh, certainly, it's got the whole fruit it's, basket. It's, mm. <laughs> it's certainly not very strong at the moment. Right. Uh, it, it is, you know, granted, I mean, just started, but mm -hmm. it's sort of easing its way into it. But yeah, a lot of nicotine. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sort of seeing it uh, right around medium, and as for all the other flavours, they've covered everything, so uh, that's all you need to hear from me. So we'll get into it. Um, we'll see you at the end of the first third. Towards the end of the first third, I've got a bit of a wonky burn going on here. Let's start with uh, you, Brendan, this time, mate. <coughs> Fire away. Um, the, the initial strong tobacco for me is, le is lessened off. Mm -hmm. I've sort of developed a, a, a bit of a cream uh, a cream flavour, cream and uh, orange peel, I think it's picked up a bit. I was just saying before that the palate the the has sort of gone from the back uh, with that sort of tobacco flavour much more to the front. Yep. With that sort of a cream flavour. Yep. Yeah. Uh, likewise, uh, it's mellowed off a lot. Uh, as Brandon said, the, the, the strong nicotine has gone from the back to the front. We're getting a lot of that fruit and a little bit of pepper, white mm -hmm. pepper as well. Yeah. Really, that really spice subtle. is yeah, biting spice, there. Yeah. It's not, not strong, it's mm. not grammy. Mm. The flavour's mellowed and then I think it's developing. Medium, medium full? I'd say just on the top of medium yep. at, at this stage. Yep. It started yeah. off as medium, on, mm. the, uh, on the, the top end of medium, and then it's just on the bottom end of medium. Yep. Or just, yeah, I'd say medium. Mm. medium. Now, was you've got the most open of the drawers of all of us. Yeah, right um, at the back, I think. Predominantly, probably just a, a, a toastiness more than anything. A hint of cream, uh, slightly nutty. Yep. No, it's interesting. You, you, you guys seem to be mentioning a, a, a you know, bit, bit more of a flavour base going on yeah. with yours. Yeah, and you're struggling with the flavours over there, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. yeah. You know. yeah. And of all the people who, you know, suck down a cigar like there's no tomorrow, it was, it should have had the hardest draw. So, uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he's got the easiest draw. But that's what happens when you turn up late, you get the poorest <laughs> quality cigar. So, let that be a lesson to you if you ever come sit on the deck. Uh, look, I agree with what you guys are saying. Uh, it's that medium... I tell you, Brandon. Clean you know, <laughs> you know I thought 
when you know Ken wasn't here, we wouldn't have any mess. But no, no. Um, I, I'm getting that bitiness on the palate there. It really grips in on your tongue. Uh, it's that medium, medium full flavour. I still think uh, I, uh, Rob and I discussed it way back when, and that it, it's got a lot of legs on it, a lot of time to you know to lay down and develop as a scar. And I seriously think that you know it still does today. I, uh, it, a lot of those flavors are closed off, and you sort of get a hint of it, and then they disappear again, yeah. and then they, then they show again, and, they, and it really hasn't sort of opened up. It might do in the next in the next couple of thirds, but uh, you know the, it needs a bit more time, I believe, to mm. to lay down. So it's mellowed down quite a bit, uh, getting a, a real toastiness out of it now. That fruit. Now you're it's just still... stealing what I said in the break. He yeah. just stole exactly what I said in the break. You had nothing. Yeah, you had no, nothing. I had nothing. But the, <laughs> the sweetness is there, but not as strong as a as a second, the start of the second third. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's mellowed down a lot. That that nicotine is all, all but gone now, mm -hmm. and you're left with this beautiful toastiness in the palate. Really enjoy. I've um, still got that toastiness coming through. Mm -hmm. I, I just touched up the edge of the uh, wrapper there a bit to even things up, and I've got a bit of a cherry hit after that. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, right now, I'm probably getting a little bit of a creamy note coming through. Um, yeah, it sort of uh, it went through to me a little bit of a dead patch in the in the first third. Yeah. It seems to be picking up again a little bit now. You know, so mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, just uh, you know, at this point in time, we usually you know where do you see it standing? Uh, uh, you know, out of a hundred. Out of a hundred, maybe a good ninety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brendan, thinking eighty-seven, eighty-eight. All right. Yep. Yeah. Flavor-wise. It's definitely mellowed down. It's mm. probably still the, the lighter side of medium. Mm -hmm. um, the creaminess for me is gone. Mm -hmm. um, I am sort of picking up a bit of that sort of artificial cherry type of flavour. Um, tobacco's picking up a slight bit, but um, you know, it's, still, it's still enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that, uh, you know, exactly what Caddick stole from me. <laughs> um, that toastiness, that toasted tobacco flavour. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, is that there, there, there isn't that, that dominant flavour running through it that's clearly, you know, evolving. Um, the flavours are just showing their, showing themselves and then, you know, coming back a bit. Um, it, it definitely has eased off mm. in its in its strength. It's now just below medium. Um, and so, but rich smoke as well. There's quite a lot of smoke. You yeah. know, you, you, you're not being, uh, uh, you know, fully done, done by on that. I, uh, I'm with Brendan at the moment. I'm around that 87, 88 mark. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's a nice cigar, but I really wanted to sort of open up and show me some of those flavours a bit more. That toastiness that's coming through now, I'm hoping will really develop through in the final third. I think I, I kind of agree that. It has been an enjoyable smoke, but you, and it has been fairly consistent. Mm. Yeah, yeah you, you kind of expect you're still it, wanting more. It to yeah, it's not going yeah. to that next yeah. level. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. You, it's giving you flavour profiles, yeah. but it's not going bang. Mm. And there mm. we have it. Mm. It's not getting yeah. to where it's yeah. developing, then it dies up, and yeah. something yeah. else develops. Yeah. Yeah. My 90 is probably a 90 in, in anticipation yeah. because it oh, seems sure. to be it wants getting to, a little it wants bit better. To get but, there. Yeah. I agree with you. It wants to break out and do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, perhaps it'll do in the final third mm. and we'll see you guys then. But uh, it's the Harewood Estate uh, Cab Sav from 2008. Uh, and it nice. goes quite, quite it well. It quite well. Yeah. Yeah. The final third. Here we are, gentlemen. Uh, we're down to the end. I know Katie will probably steal something from what I'm going to say. <laughs> Was it? Let's start with you. Well, it's reminded me of an old girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> no. Jeez. Ayala like the librarian. You know, tell <laughs> no, us no, about no. this old girlfriend. This is a tribute to Rob. Okay, so <laughs> he was an old girlfriend of yours. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just saying. This is what's missing from the review. All oh, right. Oh yeah, the yeah. Girlfriend uh, analogies. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know. Started off the evening uh, with a bit of promise. Right. And um, she's been teasing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then backing off and then um, buttoning, teasing buttoning, again. Um, exactly, that's right. A bit yep. of dancing here and there. Right. Um, and she's sort of quietening down a little bit now, I think. She's getting a cab home by herself? I, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you're getting a cab home by yourself because you're, I'm done with her. I'm not asking for a number. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. She's failed to deliver. Um, she's been wishy-washy all over the place. A little bit, yeah. 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 I like a bit of 
consistency yep. in my girlfriend. Did you have to pay for the meal? Um, no, thankfully it was uh, was comped. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. You went Dutch. <laughs> nice. Uh, so you would think it was a 90, you're going to pull back I'm, on I'm that? I'm going to pull back from the yep. 90 a bit now yep. and, and maybe go uh, like Brendan, sort of around the 80 a bit more, I think. 80? Like 80 or 88? No, no, 80. 10 points. 80. 80. 80. It's dropped 10 80. points. Oh, I think so. Vicious, yeah. I tell you, gentlemen. <laughs> Vicious. Caddick, any ex-girlfriends in that to go? No, no ex-girlfriends, because my wife will probably see the other. <laughs> yeah. but, um, this last third is, is giving a lot of smoke. Uh, some rich creaminess on the palate, but as soon as the exhale, nothing. It, it dies pretty it quickly. It dies yeah. really yeah. quickly. Yeah. Really, it's still an enjoyable smoke. Mm. Mm. I'd give it probably 85, 86. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd definitely... I wouldn't hesitate to buy a box because it's mm. interesting, it's mm. different. Mm. Just to leave it there and just yep. every now and again pull it out and, yep. and just have yep. something different. You like yep. a good cheese. Yeah, a good yeah. tea. <laughs> it is, it's, a it's, it's exactly that. And yeah. it, you know, it's the sort of thing that you know if you've got a box in your humidor, you'll always be tempted to go to it to see where it's going and what it's doing. You know, it, it it's showing enough of those little flicks of flavour yeah. that keep you intrigued to you know see where the cigar is going definitely that it had that second third developed mm -hmm. it would have been a mind-blowing would have been you know, that the second 90, third was 90, a champion 90, third wasn't mm -hmm. it yeah yeah uh, Brendan? yeah i pretty much agree with that uh, you haven't ashed once in the ashtrays today uh, he's, he's ashed three once. times on himself i would probably go with an 85 yeah it'll yep. little, yep. little come down a bit it's it's a back. Of a, yep. bit of a bitter bit of kick to it yep. yeah. you you um, did a second clip on that as well the tail yeah, was building up there there's a fair bit yeah. of time and there's that Second clip definitely freed it up mm -hmm. again. It's it left just, you hanging there. Yeah, yeah. If you had a box of them, that you'd yeah. go back yeah. every now and then, just to see where it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And that's what it sort of does. It, uh, I agree with what the guys are saying. I'd do a second clip on it. That that tar was building up there on the end. Again, that second third with the toastiness was gorgeous. But in the second, uh, the final third, it's sort of that's fallen away a touch. It's it's gotten a little hollow. It's maintained that just below medium. Uh, mm. intensity to it but again it, it, it's one of those ones you you, you know keep you intrigued that you want to go back you want to see where it's going to go you're hopeful that something great is going to come out of this and and a lot of the uh, Asia Pacific regionals uh, do do exactly that they they develop over time and over the years on the 21st of December. Oh, that's what he said last year. Yeah, or 2010. Yeah, the Mayan, yeah. Mayan, the Mayan I, calendar. If I ever meet an Aztec, calendar. I'm going to uh, express yeah. my um, disapproval. Uh, of the Mayans? <laughs> no, this is going <laughs> well, out. Sorry, the, if ever I meet the Az an Aztec, and I'm, a, I'm very disappointed about 2012. It was a big build up. Right. <laughs> there goes my profile. <laughs> Caddick was just bitching and moaning that he likes a profile, that he, he seems to be a lot better on the profile shot than that.